Hey family, I'm coming here to you with a vegan butter recipe and I have so many people that I would like to share it with. So this is the best way to go about doing so. So before I start, let me go ahead and wash my hands. Okay. It's the easiest thing you can do. After you see this, you won't buy another butter at the store. Okay, so here I have um, avocado oil. You can go ahead and use olive oil, but I find when I use the olive oil, the taste is more strong. So the avocado oil is milder. So this calls for three, four cup of avocado oil. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and oh sorry measure out that okay so that's three four cups of avocado oil and then I need one and one fourth cup of coconut oil. And what I did, I did it like a double boiler. So I put some water in this one, and let it boil and put the, the, the coconut oil in this and so that it could melt. Okay. So I need one and one fourth. So I'm just going to go ahead and Throw that out. Okay. So I melted, this is the coconut oil. I put it in the pot and melted it on the double boiler. So now, um, so I need one more cup. Okay, there you go. So now that that's done, I am going to need two tablespoon of lecithin but if I just do it like this it's going to stuck in the spoon so I will just dip it in the remaining coconut oil so that it could it's just like if you're doing honey you put the spoon in see and it comes out clean so that's a trick I want to pass on to you today there you go it's all it's as clean as can be it's better so now you're going to blend for about two minutes on high and in the meantime while this is blending I'm going to be mixing one tablespoon of salt with one cup of water and then I'll pour it you'll see me come back and do that after okay Turn this on. Okay, so after about two, three minutes, you mix the salt water up and then I'm going to turn the blender back on while slowly pouring the water in. So.
you look at the spoon look at the cover the spatula the thing okay um, so I have this molding thing so I'm going to you know that bisel butter that you buy in the in the store the little sample ones or when you go out to dinner and they will give you that butter in so I have something similar to that and isn't this a beauty so I'm just going to uh, mold it up and So the lecithin, you can find it in any bulk barn or health food store. It's suggested if you buy the, uh, what's that name one? Um, don't buy the soya lecithin, buy the sunflower one because I'm not sure, I'm not convinced that the, the soya one is the best one. So you could get the the sunflower one that's the trick to this that's what's gonna help to bind it together okay so I'm going to put this in the fridge to firm up and we will be back when it's all done and I will show you the finishing touch This is the finished product nice and smooth and firm and ready to eat okay let me wash my hands okay I'm going to get a parchment paper to, to get them all down for them. Okay, this might not be easy to come out, so you're going to try and loosen it up a bit like that. See? Came right out. now you have butter to go you you could take this to work to wherever you're gonna need a little snacking you could just freeze it like this or put it in the fridge take them out okay so there you go and what I like to do you could get something like this also and just store them because once they're set they're not going to melt away like that anymore thank you for joining me on this video if you have a favorite butter recipe and you would like to share it with me I would love to see it just leave it in the comment section and I will sure to check it out and let you know please like this video share remember to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so whenever I come back here, you could be notified. Thank you for watching.